Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thank you for stopping by the channel. Now, I'm pretty excited about starting a new series today. I've been thinking about this one for a little while, and it's got the potential to be a really fun, really cool series. But before I tell you about it, let's talk a little bit about a pheasant skin. See this? This is a ring neck pheasant cock. This might be one of the best bargains, the best values for a fly tire out there. These things are about $12 or $13, and there's really not a feather on here that's not useful to a tire. You've got some blues and greens up here around the head. You've got all kinds of ambers and orange. And when you look at the light, you've got some purples and, and blues. You've got the, the old church window feathers right there. You might've heard about that. There's really, there's just so many great feathers on this pheasant skin. And at about 12 or $13, it's really, really quite the bargain. Okay, now back to the fun part and what's gonna be really cool about this series. So I just picked up five of these ring neck pheasant cock skins, and I want to send these to five tires out there. But wait, wait, there's a catch. You're gonna to have to commit to making up two flies that use this pheasant for feathers. I mean, no other feathers allowed. I mean, you can use anything you want for the dubbing. Feathers don't really make good bodies and good dubbing, but the only feathers you can use on these flies, you know, I want it to be from this pheasant skin. That's really it. Um, you know, I've got five of these. I can send them out to five tires out there. You each come up with two patterns. I'll use mine and come up with two patterns. And there you have it. We've got a series of 12 you know, pretty cool flies that you've come up with the names for, you've designed, and you send me a picture, I'll tie it for the channel. Did I, did I say that yet? <laughs> All right, so the first five people that commit to being willing to invent, uh, you know, a couple of flies, give it a name and email me the picture, then we're gonna tie it up for this channel. So I think that could be pretty cool. And don't, don't not do this because you're thinking, oh, I haven't been tied very long. I would be terrible at this. You know, I don't care. If you've been tied for two weeks, it would be great. Nobody's gonna laugh at you. I mean, any more than they laugh at me already. It doesn't matter to me if you've only been tying for a month or two. I mean, this could be pretty fun. Ideally, we'd get a mix of, you know, maybe a brand new tire, then maybe somebody who's been tying for a couple of years, or somebody who's been tying five or more years. But if we had a, a whole mix across the community coming up with these patterns, and yeah, I just think it could be really fun that we start this series, we'll end up with 12 new flies that as of a week ago didn't exist. Anyway, you know, please let me know if you're interested. And I guess the, the best way to do this would be just email me if you are, uh, matt at savageflies.com. And the first five people who tell me that they're interested and they're willing to commit to coming up with two flies, giving them a name, emailing me a picture and the recipe so I can tie it up for the channel. Hey, I will send this skin to you. Now, do bear with me. When this video airs, I'm still gonna be out of town. So it might be a couple of days before I can get back to you. Yeah, I think this could be a fun series. I wanna give it a shot. I hope some of you do too. Uh, yeah, just think about it. Oh, wait, before I, I forget, we do have a fly that we're tying tonight. I'm gonna to kick off the series with the first one of this. I'm calling it the pumpkin neck. Now, I just gave it a pumpkin name because it's got a little bit of orange in it, uh, and it's November, and then it's from a ring neck pheasant, so pumpkin neck it is, all purpose nymph. But it was pretty fun to tie, and hopefully it'll be effective. I'll give it a shot and we'll see someday. So I think you'll like it. Let's get started. So there it is, in the vise, what I'm calling the pumpkin neck all-purpose nymph. Now, I would say what the common sizes for this are, but there are none. So since it's an all-purpose nymph, size 12 is always a good starting point. That's a size 12, 2X long nymph hook. And I'm using black thread, my go-to 70 denier UTC. So I'll lay a base all the way to the tail or the bend of the hook. Okay, now when you've got your thread all the way to the back, let's take one of these ring neck pheasant tail fiber, or not pheasant tail, just from a pheasant skin. These are some of the most prevalent feathers on this whole skin. You see that? I like those tips. And what I'm gonna do for this, I'm going to just pull it back, preen these off until I just have the a, a tip right there. I'm gonna get it, kinda get it even. I'm not gonna put the barbs 
uh, pull the, the fibers off. I am just going to bunch them up and leave the stem in there. And I'm gonna tie it in just like this. And I'm going to go about a hook gap. You know, I like a substantial tail on my nymphs. So I might do a little bit longer for some of them. But for, uh, for this size 12, I think that is gonna be fine right there. And I like those black bars showing. So let's go ahead and lock this one in. That should be good right there. Now let's tie in the body components. And remember the rule, tie them in in the opposite order that you're going to use them. So we'll do the rib first because that's going to be wrapped last. This is a gold and a size brassy. So I will just catch this in all the way back to the front of that tail. We'll bury this little stub right there. And now we're going to put some Mirage tinsel. Pearl, it's actually pearl tinsel in size medium. We're going to catch this in. It doesn't matter which side facing, it's they're pretty much identical. So we're going to catch this in right on the top. A couple medium wraps until I get the position that I want. Check it, is that coming directly off the top? I think so. So we can go ahead and secure this in with a couple of tight wraps all the way back to the to the back again and check it is that going to look good when we lift it maybe one more wrap back i think let's go right there okay watch the point of your hook and now just bury that in don't worry if you're under uh, your body's a little lumpy. We've got a pretty thick dubbing we're gonna put on here. So, speaking of that, put some wax on your thread. Now I'm dubbing this with brown, just brown rabbit, but I've pulled a few of the guard hairs from a hair's mask. So that's some brown, brown rabbit with a little bit of guard hairs mixed in, and I'm gonna put it on here fairly thick. Mix this up pretty good. Uh, because we've got that flashback and a rib, you can put it on thick and let it be all, you know, fuzzy looking. It might take you a couple of applications of this. I've got about, and that, that might be three inches of a noodle on right there. So I'm gonna back up a couple of these wraps right here and use that little bit of that bare thread to get me back to the front of that tail. And we're gonna dub it about half of the, the body. And get a little taper if you can. I think it will look just a little bit better. Okay, let's see, I need to go a little bit more forward than that. Okay, I think we're good right there. That's a little bit more than half. Now let's flip over this pearl flash and just lay it right on the top. Put a couple of, a couple of loose wraps to check your position before you really lock it in. I think that's coming across the top just how we want. So I'm gonna put a couple of tight wraps to lock that in. Snip off this excess. Now let's wrap our rib. The first wrap of this brassy wire. I'm going to take just right at the base and then the next wrap I'm going to take it up over this pearl and the body. Maybe four or five wraps is about all you're going to need. Okay, catch that in up front. Two or three good tight wraps. Put some tension on your thread. Pull the hook down and this is brassy. It's kind of thick but you can still spin it off. Okay, so there's our tail and our body. Now next, one of those same feathers that we used, you know, for the tail, you'll want to go closer to the base and we're going to make our wing case. So I'm gonna pull off a big chunk of them about like that. See that right there? And I'm gonna tie it on right on top. With the tips facing back and this is gonna be our wing case that we fold over. So 
Take it all the way back right there. And if you want to bury these in, you probably can. You can snip them, I suppose. I'm just going to go ahead and bury them. They're not too scruffy. Okay. Now let's take our thread back to the, almost back to the, that wing case. Let's put a little more wax on. And this time, I'm just putting hair's mask. No rabbit mix this time, just straight up hair's mask. Now I might pull some from the, the cheeks where you get a little bit more of the downy, but you also have plenty of the guard hairs. It's gonna be a pretty big thorax and pretty buggy. Okay, see that right there? That's just straight hair's mask. I'm gonna dub it on here. Pretty thick, but it's about as tight as I can get it on my thread. But we'll put several wraps so that we have a nice, thick, substantial thorax. Okay, so that's a little bit thicker than our body and that's what we want. Just clean this head up a little bit before we work on our legs. Now the legs on it, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can hold this up here, but on the pheasant skin down toward the bottom, there's some pretty cool looking purple feathers, purplish maroon. I'm gonna take one of those right there and then just the tip of it and I'm gonna cut out a little V notch. Okay, so I've got a little V cut out right there, maybe 10 fibers on each side. I'm gonna lay these down on either side of this thorax and we'll put a couple of loose wraps before we check our position. Leave them long at first and a little bit toward my side, toward your side of the hook as the tire and get them situated. So you see that way too long, but the position looks okay. So what you'll want to do is just pull this up and shorten them up. Maybe even a little bit shorter than that. Okay, I, I like that length right there. And just check them, make sure they're coming off this, both sides like you want. And when they are, a couple of tight securing wraps right here. And we can always use this wing case to position those legs. Or you'll actually, you'll probably need to. So let's snip off this excess right here as close as we can get it. Okay, now just push these legs to either side and let's fold this wing case over. So who knew that you could use pheasant for a wing case? Not pheasant tail, just pheasant body feathers. So who needs turkey? So I'm gonna fold that over and then just put a couple of loose wraps to check it. How's that gonna look? That's a pretty good looking wing case. That's about the right proportion we want. So I'm gonna hold that tight and then a couple of tighter securing wraps right here. Now I'll snip off this excess feather right there. And it's time to clean up the head. So just push those up if you want. Take your thread right back to the eye and then build a big head. And I say big because it is a nymph. You can, you can get away with big heads on a nymph. So several wraps till you get a head you like. One that's gonna hold a good bit of head cement or UV resin and give you that nice sheen. So let's put a whip finish on this. But we're not done, hold on, there's more. There's our four turn whip finish. Snip this off. And we'll have some head cement, but what I'm talking about, so this, we've got our profile. The tail, the fish view right there, the tail and the legs, that's your profile. But what you'll wanna do, I've got a popsicle stick with Velcro on it. And I'm just gonna rough these up, this hairs and rabbit right there. So pull some of that out, even the thorax. That is gonna give it life. So the tail and the legs and the abdomen, that'll give it the profile, but just roughing up some of that, you know, those fibers coming off the body, that will actually give it life. So I think this is gonna be a pretty cool pattern. I can't wait to give it a shot. But that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching the Pumpkin Neck All-Purpose Nymph. 
So take care and we'll see you next time.